Hi, I'm David Hawks with Agile Velocity, and today I'd like to talk to you about Agile uh, resource allocation, or what I like to call people. Um, and let's compare that to how we've traditionally done it versus how we want to do it now. So what we've traditionally done is said, okay, I've got project one, and I figure out, okay, who do I need for that? So, so let's say I've got Alex, um, and I say, you know what, I need Alex for this. I'm going to assign some part of this to Alex. I also have uh, Janet here. I need to assign some work to Janet, and I also have uh, Cameron. So let's say we assign out all of project one. We say, all right, Alex, Janet, Cameron, we need to get this done. Then we all of a sudden comes uh, project two. So we say, all right, project two, who do we need for project two? Well, we need Alex, um, and we're also going to need uh, Carter for this. So we assign some work to Carter, and um, we need uh, Will involved in this. So we assign some work to Will. And, um, and then we get project number three. So we get another project that comes in, and we say, who do we need this? Oh, we need Alex. Um, we're also going to need a little bit of Cameron for that. And, uh, oh, you know what? We also uh, need, uh, you know, need some help from, uh, let's say, let's say Carter. All right. So does anybody see a problem with this issue, this, this situation here, right? So we've got a little bit of a problem here with Alex, right? Alex is feeling probably a little bit overloaded, uh, maybe important, maybe Alex is now asking for a raise, um, and, uh, or Alex is, is dusting off her resume and looking for her next gig. Um, all not really good situations. So what do we do? If we go to management and we say, all right, what, what are the priorities of these things? And they say, you know what, they're all high priority. They all need to get done. They already have been committed by certain dates. So Alex has been given that all of these things, project one, project two, project three, all have to get done. She has three things on her plate. How do you think Alex decides how to prioritize her work? You know, there's, there's three main ways that developers will prioritize their work if they're left to their own devices. One is, first, they're going to work on the coolest feature. Whichever one uh, is, is most interesting, whichever one will help their resume, right? That's what they're going to do. Or they're going to work on the easiest one and get it off of their plate. What can I do to get this thing done and get on to the next thing and just knock it out? Or the, the third most common way is whoever is screaming the loudest, right? So whoever is, uh, and that also could be whichever project manager they like the most, um, whoever buys them beer or cookies, um, whoever is, um, is, is, is the one that is trying to get them uh, to work on this or just as mean, mean lady, right? I, I don't, you know, this person comes and yells at me, so I'm going to do theirs first, right? These are, these here, these are not great prioritization techniques. These are actually uh, really bad prioritization techniques, and we do not want to do those. Uh, but that's what we've left our developers up to. This is one of my favorite things to go over with uh, leaders, because I say, look, because you leaders who are paid the big bucks are not making priority decisions, you're saying they're all high priority, you've left, left prioritization up to the person furthest removed from understanding the business priority, and they're going to prioritize your company based on coolest, easiest, and whoever is screaming the loudest. That is a terrible way for us to prioritize work. So what do we do in Agile? Right? In this world of Agile, what we want to do is uh, we want to take and form a team of people. So um, let me just uh, change this over. Uh, and what we're going to do here is we're going to say, let's form a, um, a, a cross-functional team, right, that has all of the people that we need. And we're going to form this team. We're going to call this our, our Scrum team or our, our Kanban team, our Agile team, right? So we're going to take all these people. We're going to put them on a team together. 
then what we want to do is build a funnel of work in front of this team, right? Whoops. And in front of this team. So we're going to build a funnel of work and what the and we're going to say we need to prioritize this work. Now when we look at um, this work here and um, and we and we look at the things and we say all right, we're we're not going to just assign all the work out to all of these uh, developers over here. We're going to say business stakeholders you need to prioritize. Now here's the problem. We can't prioritize project one against project two against project three because they're so large. You know, project one may take six months to get all of it done and we need to make some progress on project two. So what we do is we say, all right, project one, we're going to break that down into little pieces, right? So project one is going to get broken down into some different pieces. And then we're going to take project two and say, all right, let's break that down and prioritize those pieces amongst the other parts of project one. And then we're going to take project three and we're going to prioritize it against, um, against the, other, the other project. Oops, whoops, whoops, wrong color there. Um, we're going to prioritize that against other projects that we have here, right? So now what we've given our team, we call this the, the, the backlog, right? And it's ordered, and it's ordered by our product owner in Scrum. And we say, all right, we've got to make some hard choices as a business. We've got to decide which of these things are going to go before the other things. And instead of us assigning the work to people, we now are going to, you know, instead of, uh, assigning the people to the work, I should say. Now we're going to assign the work to a team of people and then the team's going to work together to figure out how they're going to divide and conquer. Right? They're going to say, oh, Alex is overburdened, so Will needs to go help and figure out how to help Alex. Right? Because now it's a team goal. What we're trying to get is shared ownership of the goal together. So instead of assigning the people, we now are pulling work into our sprints and the team is then swarming to get things done together. Thank you.